guys, Dr. Squish here. I am doing something super fun today on my show. I am gonna be doing a slime mixing bingo. I have got a bingo ball machine. Ooh, it's super noisy. It has got numbered balls inside. All of the numbers correspond to something on my table. Here's how today's game is gonna work. I have got some liquid bases like yogurt, toothpaste, glue, and shampoo. They have all got a number on them. I have got the mixers or activators like contact solution, psyllium husk, cornstarch, salt, and some borax solution. I have even got add-ins like, all of my add-ins are like glitter and sequins, some foam soap, baking soda, baby oil, and shaving foam. I am going to be spinning this bingo wheel and whatever numbers come out of here, I'm gonna put that in a bowl and mix it up and see if we can get slime. In a perfect world, I'd have like one of each thing try and make slime, but we may have some slime with two ingredients, we may have some with four to five ingredients. We are gonna see how it works out. I make two predictions today, folks. One is I'm gonna have some super awesome slime. Two is I'm gonna have some super disgusting fails on my show. We're gonna find out. Here goes the first spin of the bingo machine. We are gonna see which ones we get. I am so nervous about today. Who's ready? Here we go. Oh, our first up is 21. So we are definitely going to be putting a baby oil in whatever we get. Oh, it's another add-in. I'm gonna have to keep spinning. We've got 17. That means we have some sequins. We can't just have add-ins. That does not make slime, so let's keep spinning. Oh, we have a mixer. 65, which mixer is 65? That is a Borax Solution. Guys, you are always looking out for me and I appreciate it so much, but as I've said on one of my other shows, Dr. Squish, this guy right here, is an adult. I have done plenty of my own research on Borax. This is a highly diluted Borax Solution and I do not have sensitive skin. I am okay. If you don't want to use it, don't ever use it. It's okay. Okay, we gotta do another spin. Try and get a liquid up in here. We got a liquid! Our liquid of the day is glue! Well, that's perfect. All right, let's get to making up some slime. I'm gonna put in my glue. Water is a freebie, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water. And food coloring is another freebie because I don't want no boring slime up in here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of sky blue food coloring, okay, just a tiny bit. Mix all that up. We're gonna see what we get. So far, so good. But I think I'm gonna choose the other sequins because they'll go better. Oop, we already got a sequin in there. These are gonna go better with the, the slime, I think. Borax solution, again, don't use it if you don't want to. Dr. Squish is fine with using it. I have done a lot of research. Here we go, just a little bit. Not much, just a dab. Okay, and now I'm gonna start mixing up my slime. And that lone sequin is floating around in an ocean of slime. This is gonna look awesome, you guys. I'm so excited. All right, first slime is looking good so far. I'm gonna do it on my table. All right, this one is looking awesome so far, so good. We had some good ingredients to start off with. But don't forget, I've got a couple more things to add. I gotta put in some sequins. Dump those right in. I need a little more activator, it's a little sticky. So far, it's made like the perfect, beautiful slime. But, you guys remember I had another ingredient I have to add. I have to add the baby oil. Usually you add baby oil to make it have a little stretch, a little bit of shininess, but I am just gonna put a little bit in and hope it doesn't ruin things. A few dabs there. Let's see what it's gonna do here. I don't know what baby oil will do to this kind of regular slime. I'm just gonna kinda fold it in and see. Ooh, it's making it super slippery. Well, it didn't seem to do a whole lot to it. That's super, well, it's made it a little bit more putty-like, weird enough. I thought it was gonna make it more stretchy, but it's made it a little bit more like putty. It's still a pretty nice slime. Our first slime mixing bingo was a success. It's a little more firm and bouncy than I like it to be. I kinda like slime to be really, really oozy. And this one, it seems like after I put the baby oil in it, it got a lot more firm, but that's, Pretty interesting to find out. It doesn't like make a good thwacking noise. That's how I know it kind of turned it a little more to putty. Let's see, yep, it tears. That is kind of weird. I never would have imagined that. All right, that worked out pretty darn well. So let's roll the bingo machine and see what our next slime is gonna be. 
Oh, we have an add-in. Always starting with the add-ins. 19. Ooh, we're gonna be starting with some baking soda. Let's spin it again. We can't have a slime with this add-in. Oh my gosh, more add-ins. And 21, we got the baby oil again. So I don't know what baby oil and baking soda is gonna be like. We have a liquid, all right. Our liquid is number three. We got the school glue. We got some white school glue. We need some kind of activator, so let's keep spinning. Oh, I see an activator come out. It is number 63. 63 is the contact solution. Guys, this is working out surprisingly well today. We are gonna put some school glue in. I'm gonna put in a little bit of baking soda. And it goes. I'm gonna use one of my freebies and I'm gonna color it a little bit orange, just a bit. Mix all that up. That looks like an orange sickle or something. Oh, I hope this slime works out. That's so cool. All right, now I'm gonna put in the contact solution. All right, let's do a squirt of this in there and see how well it works. <laughs> slime, folks, slime. I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of the bowl. Looks like I didn't mix some of the color in. Ooh, this made a super fun slime. It's very stretchy. I did have the unfortunate baby oil to add into this one too, so I'm gonna have to do that and see what it does. Last time it kind of turned it into putty. This is some pretty good slime so far. But let's see what the baby oil is gonna do to it. All right, well this slime has turned out pretty good. It's really stretchy, it's really pretty. Oh, it's on my fingers. I really like the consistency of it because it's just your basic school glue and contact solution slime. But now I gotta put in the, the baby oil because that was part of the bingo. So let's put in a little bit. I don't wanna put in a ton. Let's fold that in. Last time it kinda made the other one into putty. See if it makes this one stretchy and shiny like it should. It does, you know, it kind of just makes it like a little more firm. It's doing the same thing as this one. This one's kind of more putty-like now. Watch this. See, it just tears way more easily when you add the baby oil in it. That's really surprising to me. That's not what I imagined happening when I made baby oil slime. I don't really like the addition of the baby oil in these slimes. I feel like it ruins a perfectly good stretchy slime. Well, that made a super interesting slime. Again, it doesn't really poke because it just kind of turned it into putty. It does get a little more stretch. It's getting stretchier now that it's all mixed in. It's a pretty cool one. I like it pretty well. Here's hoping we get some cool stuff. Let's spin it. Ooh, we're starting off with a mixer. Our mixer is 64. Ooh, 64 is the psyllium husks. <laughs> it's a laxative. <laughs> yep. Psyllium husks are basically a metamucil, but they make for some awesome slime just when you mix them with water. All right, we have an add-in. Our add-in is 19. What's 19? 19 is the baking soda again. Baking soda and psyllium husks. We'll see how that works out. Okay, we have another mixer, you guys. 62, what is 62? Oh my, cornstarch, baking soda, and psyllium husks. We got to get some liquid up in here or we're gonna have a mess on our hands. All right, we finally got a liquid and it is number one. Number one is the yogurt. I think I'm gonna stop here. Okay, so the slime is going to be yogurt. Cornstarch, a baking soda, and psyllium husks. Oh my goodness, I don't know what's about to happen. This is some regular old Yoplait yogurt. Oh, this one's actually got the strawberries in it. <laughs> I don't know how well this is gonna work. All right, I'm gonna put in some baking soda. I'm gonna put in a little more cornstarch than baking soda because usually when you make oobleck, it's like one to one. Let's see what we got starting off with before I add in the poop metamucil. Psyllium husks. I think I'm gonna add a little more cornstarch. Okay, I'm gonna add some more cornstarch. It smells good. I got like some strawberry slime going on here. Now I'm gonna add in the psyllium husk, and since water is a freebie, I'm gonna add that in with the psyllium husk and see what happens. Get a big old tablespoon of that. All right, let's see what happens here, you guys. 
Well, it's totally not making a slime by itself. It's just making soup. I know that with the ceiling husk, you usually have to microwave it. All right, so I put this goop in the microwave for like a full two minutes at 30 second intervals and gross. That's nasty. I wouldn't say it turned into slime. It turned into something. I mean, that looks awful. It looks like some kind of batter or dough. Like I'm gonna be making some cookies later, but this is definitely not slime, you guys. I don't know what it is. I don't know how you can make a yogurt and a lot of cornstarch and some baking soda into, I mean, this made something. It wasn't slime. Ew. So this was definitely a slime bingo fail. Don't try this at home because it looks so gross and it didn't work. All right, so that's just gross, folks. This is not, that did not work out. Little Squish said it looks like tuna salad. Ew. Let's do one last slime bingo and see what happens. It is 65. We got the borax solution again. Ooh, we get another liquid. Our liquid is five. We get the moisturizing shampoo. All right, so, so far I have got shampoo and borax solution. I think we need a few more things to make slime. Ooh, we get another liquid. Our other liquid is glue, clear glue. Well, that ought to do pretty well. So let's do a couple more things. Maybe we'll get an add-in, some glitter or something. Oh, another liquid? Two, what is two? Oh my goodness. We get the toothpaste. We've got so many liquids here today, you guys. Okay, we have our first add-in, number 18. What is 18? This is five ingredients, that is plenty. 18 is glitter. Finally, some glitter up in here. Well, I am super excited about our last slime. We have some super cool things to put in there. First things first, goes in our glue. A little bit of glue in there. We got so many cool ingredients to go in this one. We got the super cool moisturizing strawberries and cream shampoo. This is automatically gonna smell amazing. I am so happy we get to finally use the toothpaste. This is super cool high power strawberry and raspberry toothpaste. Good bit of toothpaste in there. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this part up. See what we get with the glue and the strawberries and the shampoo. I had a lot of strawberry stuff on my show today. That was unintentional, I didn't realize it. I think you can probably tell that Dr. Squish likes strawberry smelling things. Look how pretty that color is. Oh my goodness, it's such a pretty pink color slime. I'm gonna add in the glitter first. I know some people add it in later. This may be enough. Oh yeah, that is some sparkly pretty slime right there. This is gonna be amazing. I'm so excited. You guys, this is like pretty, pretty princess slime. Okay, let's do a little bit of activator. I don't wanna do too much because I don't wanna turn this one into putty. Just a little bit and let's see what happens. Because there's no water in this at all. I didn't put any water in it. So far, it's not making any slime. Hmm, interesting. Let me put in some more activator. I have to put in a lot more than I thought. You guys, this is so strange. I had no idea that when you mixed like a uh, shampoo or maybe it was the, the toothpaste, that it won't make slime. I don't know what it's doing, but it is just clearly not making slime. I have put a bunch of activator in here so far and it's doing nothing, like nothing at all. It's not even coming together. Well, they're kind of starting to, but whoa, I'm having to put way more activator than usual like a lot more, and it just did right back out. Now, see, it's make something about either the shampoo or the toothpaste made it where it is not making slime. How weird. Well, I am gonna call it, that did not make slime. I am super bummed. I thought that that was gonna make a beautiful pink slime, but all it is is just glue and shampoo and toothpaste. It did not make any type of slime whatsoever. What a Bummer! But that is what happens on slime mixing bingo. No matter how much I mix it up, it is just not making slime. All right, so I'm gonna call it for today. I'm gonna say I had two pretty good slimes that I got made there in the slime mixing bingo. This one turned out more like slime, and this one definitely more like putty. But I am gonna say I had two epic fails as well. That is a disgusting mess. And this one just didn't work at all. I am so bummed out because that is a gorgeous, that would've been a beautiful slime. So you can let me know what you thought about slime mixing bingo. Give me some suggestions on what else I could use 
It did not work for some, it did for others. That's about what I predicted. And you can go ahead and tap on my logo right there. That way you'll never miss a squishy video right when it comes out. You can tap right over here to see a video you may have never seen before. And I will see you on the next show. Bye bye, squishy fans.